Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. In the most recent episode of The Bad Batch, titled Bounty Lost, we saw the Daryl's bounty hunter Cad Bane travel to the planet Boravio to rendezvous with the Kaminoan Tan Wei so as to exchange Omega for a boatload of credits. When Bane and Omega arrived on Boravio, however, they surprisingly came upon an apparent Kamino cloning facility that had been left in disrepair and had been abandoned for some time. To make things even more eerie, after the bounty hunter Fennec Shan showed up and tried to steal Omega from Bane, the young clone was able to break free, but before finding a room that housed multiple tubes filled with clones. WTF guys, this begs the question, why did the Kaminoans abandon this facility? And what were they doing on Boravio before they abandoned it? Let's first start with what the Kaminoans might have been doing on Boravio before abandoning the facility. Based on the information we obtained in the episode, we know that the Kaminoans were doing some kind of cloning activities or cloning experiments. When Omega stumbled upon the room with tubed up clones, it appeared that there are various species of beings in the tube Tubes, one of which appeared to be a Kaminoan that is more muscular and has a larger head than that of a normal Kaminoan. This makes me think that they were doing some kind of cloning experiments as opposed to trying to produce a more straightforward cloning product a la the clone troopers that were created for the Republic which were uniform in their species and pretty much everything. I don't think a client looking for just a regular old clone would tell the Kaminoans to create clones of multiple species. So if they were doing some kind of cloning experiments, what kind of experiments were they doing and who was the client paying for the experiments. If we look at the list of characters in Star Wars that have an interest in clones and cloning, we don't have to look very far, because very few beings are as obsessed with clones and eternal life like our boy Darth Sidious. Sidious orchestrated the Clone Wars and took control of the production of a gigantic batch of clone troopers by the Kaminoans. We've also recently seen in issue 11 of Greg Pak's Darth Vader series that by 3-4 to four ABY, but possibly even sooner, Sidious had begun laying the framework of the Final Order on Exegol and the Sith Lord was seen creating some kind of clones in the issue, possibly with DNA from the severed hand of Luke Skywalker. There was also the Imperial Project Blackwing, which was a project that oversaw unlocking immortality. Furthermore, almost immediately after the destruction of the second Death Star, Sith cultists began creating clones to house Darth Sidious's essence, effectively extending his life for another three decades, culminating in his return in the Rise of Skywalker. There's also those weird-ass clones that Din Djarin and company found on Navarro during the second season of The Mandalorian. Moreover, we also know that Sidious was responsible for the creation of Snoke, who was also a clone. In addition, we know that Sidious had learned from his master, Darth Plagueis, the keys to immortality, but he might not have fully unlocked all the steps necessary to become immortal after he killed his master in his sleep. As such, he may have needed to work out some of the steps to be able to fully unlock the keys to eternal life. And this is where I believe the Kaminoans come in. Sidious could have learned from Plagueis that, to become immortal, one would need to transform for their essence into a clone's body. Thus, when a body became decrepit, a new body could then be cloned for the Sith Lord to use to transfer his essence into. This could have prompted Sidious to enlist the services of the Kaminoans for a secret project that would see them creating clones that could potentially be used to house the Sith Lord's essence. Presumably, the Kaminoans would have little to no knowledge on creating the kind of clones for Sidious's plan, which would necessitate the need for the cloners to run a litany of experiments on various beings. The Kaminoans possibly began experimenting on creating clone bodies that could effectively house the immense dark side power that resided within Darth Sidious's essence. To do this, the Kaminoans most likely attempted to create four sensitive clones, which ties into why Moff Gideon wanted Grogu and his blood in the Mandalorian, as well as why Lama Su presumably wants Omega back in the Bad Batch, because our homegirl may very well be force sensitive. Before the facility was shut down on Boravio, I imagine these experiments yielded a large number of failed attempts and failed clones. My thought is that the clones that Omega saw, still in tubes, were experimental clones that were created by the Kaminoans for Sidious. Not only would this explain why the Kaminoans had a separate facility on Boravio, but this could also explain why it was abandoned. Sidious would have wanted this secret project to be kept hidden from the Jedi and the Republic, either before or during the Clone Wars, and there's the possibility that the Jedi and or the Republic came close to discovering the facility on Boravio, which would have prompted Sidious to force the Kaminoans to abandon the facility. So yeah, my thought is 
is that our homeboy Sidious hired the Kaminoans to try to create clones that would allow him to unlock the keys to immortality, prompting the cloners to set up a facility on Boravio, and then the Republic and or Jedi nearly discovered the facility, causing Sidious to shut the operation down. The Rise of Skywalker novelization did explain that a body would have to be cloned just right so that it would be able to effectively house Sidious's essence, so it makes a lot of sense that the Kaminoans would have had to experiment and work out the kinks to be able to create the right type of clone body that Sidious could use to become immortal. Now, this is me speculating here, but I do believe that all the signs are pointing to Sidious playing some role in the facility on Boravio. As we continue further into the Bad Batch and as more Star Wars stories are released, we may find out exactly what the Kaminoans were doing at the facility on Boravio and why they had to abandon the facility. But what do you guys think? Why do you think the Kaminoans abandoned Boravio? Let us know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Dan's on Fandoms. Thanks for watching and stay nerdy.